about to drown down here. But we ain't going nowhere. The bathtub had more holidays than the whole rest of the world. Hi everybody, I'm Peter Travers and this is Popcorn, we got the popcorn, where we tell you what's going on at the movies. And to me, one of the best movies all year is a movie called Beasts of the Southern Wild, which is directed by Ben Zeitlin and starring Kuvanjane Wallace. Both of them are here. Did I say your name okay? Okay. No, Close. say it the really Close. right way. <laughs> Kuvanjane. Vinjane. Kuvanjane. That's I'm going to keep good. saying it. I'm going to make it into a song. Vingene. <laughs> and when you first met Ben and you saw that he had an H at the end of his name, did you try to say the H? No, I was like, how did you get the H? And I know an H is not silent. I think this is crucial because before <laughs> anybody wants to even talk about the movie, they all want to know how to say both of your names. It was, it's a, well, our work is done here. We can we, play now. It's generally you can a dance. lesson. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's a, yeah. See? I knew it. I knew it. And at the end, it's going to happen really good. Did you bring your iPod? Yes. Okay. Always. Right. So I need, to, I need to straighten that out. I'm going to ask a very strange first question of both of you. Because now, as we talk about award season, everybody not only loves your movie, but they say, Oscar, Academy Award, you might be the youngest to ever be nominated for an Oscar for Best Actress. Do you know what an Oscar is? The Golden Man. The Gold Man! It <laughs> is the Gold Man. It is. Would you like one? Sure. I have real gold. <laughs> I don't think. think so. I think it's not really. I think it's got like gold plate on it. That's still gonna be cool, right? Yeah. What does it mean to you, Ben, when everybody starts talking about your movie now in terms of awards, way past the uh, great reaction it had? Um, I mean, I th I mean, one, it's, it's amazing. I mean, this, this moment is sort of where people who you have grown up idolizing see your films, and, and that's mm -hmm. been totally incredible for me. Just the people who I've learned how to make films, the just people who raised me, my VHS tape collection contains <laughs> Uh, all these people that, that are now watching the movie and, and mm -hmm. getting to sort of be suddenly in that community is, is pretty special. And, um, and also, you know, I just think it's a great, uh, for a movie that, that was made this far outside of um, the world of the industry to be kind of accepted and, and given, a, given a voice inside of it is, uh, you know, I think could be really special for, for movies in general. You know, I think it'd be a great it's thing. It's remarkable. Yeah. It's like one of those miracles that happened, <laughs> yeah. you know? No, it so is, it is. We have to be grateful for that. Yeah. But for you, when he first talked to you and said, I'd like you maybe to be in my movie, what did he say it was about? He didn't tell me. I That's to... not right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Hit him. remember. Hit him. Because it's not right. That's not right either. I don't know if I, I, if I, don't know if I hit him, I will hit myself because that was wrong. <laughs> oh, because you were wrong. But no, he should have told you I, what I it was. I don't know. About. I don't remember. remember? It was. It, it, the problem it, is when when this, so when this moment happened, it was actually half of her lifetime ago. <laughs> she was five years old and now she's nine. Because you are not really remembering exactly what he said it was about, I'm going to ask him. I'm going to just say. Just to <laughs> me, this movie is also, it's almost the end of the world. It's almost, nothing's around anymore. And it's in Louisiana, and it's, it's where you live. That's where my daddy fishes too. Daddy fishes there, which makes it completely authentic. Yeah. So when, what do you remember saying to her? You have a nickname remember, too, don't you? It's like, a, what's the nickname people call you? She's Big Buddy. Big yeah, Buddy? Yeah, he calls me Big Buddy Big. and I call him Little Buddy. Oh. We had to switch places I at like a certain it. point. It makes sense. It started off, she was Little Friend and I was Big Buddy, Big. but we had to switch roles at a certain point because she took over. I understand. Yeah. Okay. I, would sort of, I would sort of tell her the story like it was a fairy tale. When I'm mm -hmm. telling it to her, I would say, you know, once upon a time there was this little girl named Hush Puppy who lived with her dad on this island called the Bathtub that was cut off from the world by a giant wall and at the moment 
that uh, he, he got sick, suddenly the entire world started to come apart and everything she knew in her town, the end of the world started to happen and she mm -hmm. thought it was all her fault. And then she set out to try to fix it. So I would sort of tell it like it was a, almost a, a fairy tale. And then we would sort of track you know, where in that fairy tale we were. Um, so, you know, it was a very different process from, from the other actors who would read the entire script. We sort of knew it as this, as this little story that we would tell, and I would take her to the point in the story where we were before each scene. But that, that was kind of how we, we dealt with uh, just understanding what the, what the All of was. what's happening. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Was he nice to you in the movie, or did he hit you? He's nice. He was nice. Look at that. <laughs> See? And you can tell that's the truth. There was no <laughs> acting there. <laughs> Didn't you ever say to him, I don't want to say all these lines. It's too much. We had rules. Rules? What were the rules? We would do the big ones or the little ones first. It was like we did the little ones first, the easier ones, mm -hmm. and then we did the hard ones. And As we were memorizing. Yeah. Yeah. And she would come and sit at the computer with me actually at night before we did any scene. She would sit at the laptop and we'd go through the script and she would be at the keyboard and would literally delete my words if she didn't like them and <laughs> Great. cut my lines off. You should win an Oscar then. <laughs> that's, that's what they all do once that happens. They just eliminate the words of the right. Well, exactly. when, when he did it, he, like you know how you spell C and it has two E's? Mm -hmm. He is going to go C. She fixed my spelling too. Did it seem strange and weird to you when you finally got on that set and you, he was saying to you, I want you to do this? What was the first thing he told you to do? Remember the first day of shooting? Uh, you had to pull the string on the levy. Oh, that was? That was the first thing you did. I don't remember him like in dates, but. <laughs> <laughs> but you had all these other birthdays after you did the movie. You're five, then you're six, then you're seven, and eight, and now, when did you turn nine? Are you really 14? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Come on. I uh, wish I was. What? Really, what no. would you do when you, if you were 14? I would basically have a phone uh -oh. that I could text Is your mom on somewhere in the room? <laughs> Obviously. And call on. I think, I think if you should win the Oscar, you should get a phone. I'm not going to be old enough. I have to wait till I'm in seventh grade. Oh, 